get all this dirty, dirty rust off. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Diesel, and today we're back in Tank Mechanic Simulator, just hanging out here. Removing rust off these dirty, dirty, screwy looking pipes. And easy to get done. We only have $16,000 in the bank, but we have made a couple upgrades after our last episode. I gotta watch out for myself because I keep on falling down into the trenches and then I pray I, I could. It's, it's a real problem, bro. Like, my manager keeps on telling me, like, hey, man, you gotta stop. You gotta pay attention. I don't know who that is because I'm the boss. <laughs> hey! You know what I'm saying? But right now, what I'm messing around with is. Well, first, let me show you some upgrades here that I've knocked out. I've started knocking some of these out here when it comes to the tablet. We also have the grinder and the drill, as well as a tool belt. I've spent some points and also got 10% discount, discount double check on my parts. But we need to unlock some testing areas, so I need to take and repair and sell some things and all that fun jazz. Parking level one allows you tank, uh, allows more tank slots in your warehouse. But here's the thing: it doesn't let, like give us an upgrade. What I can like, what's the next one? I can't click on it. Like, how am I supposed to look towards the future if I don't even know if my future's there? I'm wearing sunglasses right now. Why? Because my future's so bright. I gotta wear sunglasses at night. Also, the tool belt, I don't have to constantly go back and forth to get my tools. I just got them on my little tool belt here, and I wouldn't say it's probably gonna be a small or a little tool belt. It's gotta be gigantic, because this thing has to hold up everything. It's like the Mitch Hedberg joke. It's like a belt is meant to hold up your pants, and the belt loops are holding up your belt. Somebody needs to tell me who the real hero is. Uh, let's see. Grab you. We'll make sure that this is all nice. Alright. No. <gasps> oh my god. Rookie Smasher. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Although it was kind of cool. Uh, now we got to replace Now, unfortunately, we'll have to replace that. Good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. I just want to get inside you. Not the first time I've ever said that. Uh, let's see. Control. Gotta get low. Get low. Get low. Get low. Nice. I took part. I took everything there. Nice. Beautiful. Lovely. This is the most difficult part of the entire, the entire thing. Is like trying to get into the, into the cockpit here. Trying to get in the interior. It's a little rough. You gotta start taking things apart. It's a real bummer, man. It's a real bummer. Ugh. Just wanna try and get to that one hard to reach part. And let's go ahead. Oh, the fan hatch. Whoa, we got booty hatches up in here, dog. I. Hey girl, I. I'll tell you what. Let me see if I can actually get this onto here, and I can. Hey, 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 it's like magic. Don't worry about how we got there. Let's go ahead and de-rust this whole engine. Pop it off here. Now I do apologize. A bunch of people were telling me in the comment section down below that I have to pay more attention to the things that are on screen. Sorry, I, I pay a lot of attention to a lot of different things going on, and sometimes I miss some stuff. When I say some stuff, I miss a lot of stuff, and I'm I'm working on it, okay? I'm just working on it. So I'm going to try and repair this tank up. And we also have a tank that we had to prime up and go and take to a testing facility, but we don't have that unlocked yet. Let's go ahead and get the sander out. But not, not the sledgehammer again, please. Let's just go ahead and sandblast this whole jam. But we have to unlock the testing zone so that we can actually, you know, complete that mission. I do like how we don't have to worry about all the different nooks and crannies. There are some things on here that can get a little weird when it comes to repairing or sanding or, 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 or rusting and de-rusting and priming and painting. It can be confusing, but don't worry, because we've unlocked the tablet. Let's go ahead and sand that off. That's all nice. Who's all nice? We're all nice. How about these belts? We still need the belts, these V-belts. Eh? Sandblast a belt. That sounds smart. Uh, up, up, went there, up. But we have our tablet, hit the T, and we can go into our organizer and we can see what all is needed. Air filter pipe. What's the problem with the air filter pipe? That it needs to be sanded and primed? I don't think so. Unless. 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, the little pieces on the inside here. Interesting. Okay. Hey, guy. What's good? Like, there's a couple little pieces, apparently, but not like you don't have to take the whole, the whole freaking engine apart and then just sandblast and rust and sandblast and prime. You don't have to worry about any, uh, like, a little bit of that. A little bit of that. Let's not get crazy, though. Stop it. Stop it. We're going to assemble the part. You can do it. And then also, when it comes to the exhaust manifold, the thing that was bothering everybody, hold on, it was when I would go into, not the tablet here, but if I would hop in here, tank status menu, and then we would go into examine mode, not examine mode. I'm still learning. <laughs> Help. Not the tablet. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, so tank status, tank analysis. Right here, buy missing parts. Hit that, it purchases all the parts for you that are missing on the tank. So that way, it's just kind of drag and drop, and then you can just go ahead and, and prime and paint and do all that fun jazz. It's so lovely. So that's what I did. Let's get out of that mode. How about assemble? So now we'll just put together all of these pieces onto the engine. Don't worry, we don't have to worry about bolting anything down. Don't be afraid. Don't have to bolt anything down. It's completely 100% safe. We're just going to leave you out there. Put the tracks on. And the pins. Got to drill those in. Keep going. You got it. Pop it in here. Got to bang those parts in. How do you think they stay connected here, Tiger? All right, side mud guard, a box, side skirts, loving it, hello, more side skirts, looking fancy, a box lid, it's wild that that's two parts, uh, what else, what else, oh, more rods, down here, gotta put four. so many different pieces that you're not even aware of until, it's a good thing they have that, that, uh, the option. But hey, just buy all the parts. What are you doing here? <laughs> we know this is going to be difficult for you. Alright, let's go select that. Pop this on here. You're good. And let's just let's just complete the track. Now, I don't know why I put all this on because I'm probably going to have to paint and prime all of this. Every single last piece. Yeah. Alright. Let's all sandblast in here, what do you say? Gotta rust remove everything. Gotta open up every single hatch. Sometimes you even have to take off the entire top roof halves in order to get to the places where you need to be. Because some of these seats you can't actually re, you know, de-rust. You kind of just gotta go with the flow of everything. Now as far as sanding, let's go ahead and we'll sandblast all this down here as well, just in case. I know we're going to need it. Sand it. Sand it up. Sandy. It's going to be beautiful. It's beautiful, my friends. It's going to be so pretty. I love it. It's so nice. Just while we're here, get every little thing that you can see. All right. Now it's time to add a bunch of primer. We are going to come across a bunch of different uh, things that need to get sanded and re-rusted or de-rusted because, you know, Tiny little parts get missed. I try to get every little nook and cranny, every little piece on the inside. I think I did okay, but you know, you always miss a couple parts. You always miss a couple parts. And of course, anything new, you don't have to do anything. It's already pre-done for you. Fantastic. Fantastic, Mr. Potter. Anything gray for the most part. <laughs> anything that's gray. Everything is gray. It's all gray, Diesel. Help. Uh, finish, 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 finish. Good, 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 good. Nope, keep going. Keep going. You ain't done yet. You ain't done yet. Alright, now comes the fun part of trying to figure out how many parts on the inside actually need to be replaced. <laughs> I'm kind of scooping around. It's all a blur, man. It's all just like, it looks like a part over here, then it doesn't, and then I'm moving over to this joint. And it looks kind of okay, but at the same time, it doesn't. A lot of the stuff needs to get primed as well, and I'm seeing in here. Uh, maybe even sandblasted as well. And it looks like we got a pot over there that needs to get de-rusted. 
Kenru, Tin Roof, Rusted. Woo! Love Shack, baby. Love Shack. Ha ha. Let's go ahead and pop that on here. Whole interior, whole interior. I don't know. I don't know, dog. All right, inside here. I just open you up. Aha! Got a couple corroded pads in here, so let's go ahead and we'll rust it out here. Let's get it unrusted. Rusted removal. Send me on my way, rusted tank. Send me on my way, rusted tank. Send me on my way, rusted tank. Can't forget the fuel cap. If you forget the fuel cap, it will tell you, hey, watch out. We need the fuel cap also sandblasted and primed and all that stuff. Fastening, I don't know where the fasteners are. Doesn't show me. Side skirts, we'll, we'll, we'll knock out those side skirts right now. Right now, let's do it. Assemble mode. Pop you on there. Delicious. We already purchased them. Kind of, might as well put them on there. Uh, plus LSU, optic covers. Yeah, do, 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 do. We're looking around. I also noticed that when I go into dis like disassemble mode is the only one that I can ha use to, to move around the tank. I had to be in disassemble mode in order for me to maneuver around. So like right now I can't select on any other parts if I'm in the assemble mode. But if I'm in disassemble mode, now all of a sudden I'm flying around. Is there anything else we can do here? No. Okay, so let's go to the tablet. Organizer. All sorts of fun fanfare. Fastening. Okay. Gearbox cover. Driver's periscope. You did say you. Oh, look at you. See? We miss we missing pieces. There we go. All of that. All that to do that. <laughs> I had to take apart the whole, the whole dang tank, man. Assemble. All right. Let's 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 move this along now. Move it along now. Come on, baby. Let's go. Side skirt. I had to take off the entire gauntlet. Ah, uh, the viewer. Here, there we go. All right, there. I can move it around if I'm going from part to part, but when it comes to just. Wanting to get to the other side of the tank, it's a rough go. But we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Hopefully we have enough points for our, hold on, let's get our viewer on there. Sport, thank you. It's like, it won't allow you to take off certain parts before certain parts, but it'll allow you to assemble them so that you have to, you really have to watch where you're going. Because if you forget a part, it's gonna be a bummer, bro. All right, organizer. Fasteners, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't worried about the fasteners. Fastening, plus house, plus house. All the way down to the bottom, gearbox cover. Where you at, gearbox cover? Oh no, that little disc, that little guy right there, is causing, that guy and that guy right there are causing all these problems. You gotta be yanking me right now. <laughs> all right, so. Another little fun fact is, is that I had no idea that this was even a turret stand. <laughs> All that time on, on assembling things and disassembling things has been murdering me. And now I'm paying the ultimate price. But we'll figure it out slowly but surely. I was just trying to get this little attachment on here, cannon-based attachment, and I'm taking apart the whole thing, and it's just annoying. I'm like, this would be so much easier if I just put it on the turret stand. Oh, uh, well, at least now we know that it's here. And I'll never make that mistake again. Ah, I'll probably make it again. I'll probably make it again. Let's just not get crazy here. You know I'll do it. I'll do it. You have no idea. Pop you there. In you go. In you go. Lovely. They don't tell you about a turret stand. They just kind of let you guess it out. Although they probably did, and uh, you're going to tell me in the comment section down below. And I'll appreciate it. Uh, okay. Is there anything else that needs to be assembled in this jam? Anything. Anything. All right. I don't believe you. All right. <laughs> it's like, I've been working on this 
for so for, for many many moons there have been many moons where I have just been saying you know what I don't care what else is next I don't care what else needs to be taken care of I don't care <laughs> just let me sell it let me finish the order seats everything's green all green everything except for the tank assembly completion what is it the let's let me just double check to see where these fasteners are otherwise it's gonna bug me aha Fascinating. It's fascinating. <laughs> I don't even ha did not even know that those were even supposed to go on there. It's a beautiful thing though. It's a beautiful thing. Let's put on that fuel hose. Some oil filters. Anything else? Anything else I'm missing? Huh? Huh? Exhaust manifold cover. Gotta get that. Carburetor, can't forget that. Air filter pipe on top. Air filters. Wunderbar, my friends. I think. That's honestly all I can see. <laughs> let's back it up a bit. A smidge, a hint, a tad. And let's see. All right. Okay, we're out of here. Ow. Install you in there. All right. Doesn't look half bad. Now we have not unlocked the different kinds of paints. Let's go ahead and take that photo. Take that picture. Do it for the thumbnail. I ain't going to do it. I don't do it for the thumbnail. Oh, I ain't going to do it. Oh, you'll do it. You'll do it and you'll like it. Computer organizer. 100%. It's 100% complete, folks. 100%. Now, do we have an area? Do we get enough points to do something? Apparently not. Apparently not. We're losers. Organizers, you finish order. I'm so over that mission. I'm so done. I was so done with that mission. Did I get any points for that? Yes! <laughs> okay. Let's upgrade you. Hey, test drive yard allows you to take your tanks to a test drive on special obstacle courses. I'm gonna unlock you. Getting all these unlocks today. All these unlocks. Watch out. Parking level two. Oh, and we have to unlock the, the artillery range. Well, that's okay because we'll actually knock out another uh, another job. Because I have the second tank that we just need to run through a test. And then once we run it through a test, we can sell it, maybe get some more points, and maybe unlock that area, and then we can save it for the next episode. Oh my god, we're, we're, we're having a good time. Hey! We're figuring stuff out, man. I had no idea that turret area was even over there. I'm like, what is this? Oh, get the crap out of here. Like, ah, okay, 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 I see what's going on here. They don't even tell you about the engine, uh, <clears throat> the engine lift. You kind of got to just walk by that. For a second there, the FPS kind of dropped to, like, 15. <laughs> Optimize your stuff there, baby. Uh, let's go ahead. Tank status. Test drive. Test drive. Oh, get out of town. We're about to do it. We're about to do it. Okay. In this area, players can put tanks to the test, driving them around in special obstacle courses. Player can, uh, player can, <laughs> player can be inside the tank using the radial menu as well as start and stop the tank engine. Okay. So I guess I gotta hop in this. How do I hop in this? Hello? Hut. Hut. I'd really like to just get down here. Can I get down here? Driver hatch. Get inside. Commander slot, gunner slot, loader slot, driver slot. We're gonna drive this jam. I've always wanted to drive a tank. What? Okay. Show controls, please. Let's see here. Exit vehicle F, toggle, turn left, turn left, W. Okay, how about turn engine on? First, first and foremost. Uh, okay. Crank it up, baby. Crank it up. All right. Oh. 
Oh, jeez. Now, H. Toggle camera. There we go. Oh my god, it's so loud. I'm not even gonna lie. That is so loud in my ears right now. It's not even kidding. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Are we done? It's also not breaking. It's not breaking. It's not breaking. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. It's still going. It's still going. My hands are off the wheel. Off all, all things. All right, we did it, folks. <laughs> get, get me, get me out of this death machine. Uh, so we'll, we'll we'll get a tow for it. We'll get a tow for it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are we done though? Can we can we can we sell this? Can we get rid of it? Test run complete. I did complete the test run. Finish the order. That's a hundred percent. Six thousand dollar fine. I just did a test run. What kind of test run do you need? How much testing do you really need on a tank that's been in the uh, in the ground in the gather? Oh well. Oh well. Do we get any upgrades? Anything? Am I crouching? I am. <laughs> am I crouching? Someone help? Upgrade cost 60, available reputation zero. All right, so we're getting to it. Mailbox, check for new emails. Repair and test tank. Suck it. This, we're good and done. I need help. We got all sorts of, 53, it's, it's high. Oh, we got high. We have found a tank and we're gonna find that in the next episode, folks. If you have any hints, tips or tricks, I think I kind of accidentally discovered over, uh, um, my, my, my faults, my problems that I was having. The turret stand was definitely something that I could <laughs> find useful. Good thing I, good thing I found that when I did. I would have been so angry. Ugh. But again, any hints, tips, or tricks are always welcome here in the Diesel Designs. Shop, factory, tank, tank workshop, tank, tank mechanic shop, scrap metal. Ready for war, but folks, if you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button, helps out my channel ever so much more, you know, and if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening, a good night. Peace out, like shot, y'all, and I'll check you out right here again in Tank Mechanic Simulator next time.